What's up everyone, my name is Nightrow and welcome back to some more Mabi no G21 finale. On the last episode, we went back to Yggdrasil and we found our, uh, we went and found some of the other characters, Atlam, Avalon, Lewin, and we ended up encountering a giant golem type of monster, which keeps getting healed by giant worms, which I could kill pretty easily. After that, we went to the beach to find some of the missing knights that got injured and at the same time we found a giant turtle but they got killed instantly by fucking Caswin and Pin because they were working together after that we detected where the the, the prophets were located and now we're here at the lost city or city ruins whatever either way let's go ahead and continue with the story and I'm guessing I'm supposed to like investigate this an ominous aura em uh, emanates from within their, these ruins. Carefully, you make your way inside. Enter mission. Okay, let's do this. As soon as the game continues to respawn. Never mind, there we go. Okay, something is going on here. Uh, there we go. Wait, what? <laughs> what did she say? What is this? What? Why? Naira! And they got crystallized. And we got crystallized too. What? Are these the prophets doing? Okay. What is going on? Besides the fact that we got crystallized? Come on! Oh, what the heck? Where am I? Oh, who am I? Wasn't I just the prophets? Wait, this is a soul stream, right? Huh? What was I... What was I thinking about? Oh no, we're confused! Oh, it's now! So this is the soul stream. A beautiful girl in a black dress with an intricate pattern. Her deep azure blue eyes reminds you of something, but you can't recall what it, what it is. Should you approach her? Approach. Nairo, it's you! Nairo! This, uh, to see you here in a place like this? This is unexpected. I remember at the beginning, Meeting you for the first time, Nairo. Nairo, it was my duty to guide you. What must you be thinking? Being reborn? Time and again? In Erin? <laughs> the place beyond the soul stream. I don't have much that I can say to you, but thank you for coming to Erin and... Her ocean-like eyes are filled with warrior for a moment. Okay... What the f- Who is that? I think that person is holding guns? You see a long slender shadow, a milky white, uh, milky white sheen like a scale of a reptile. Her long hair dances with every movement. Do you guess- and do you want to approach her? Sure. You step close but she laughs and takes a step back. Who is she? A censored heart uh, moves away, her step lights. Who is, who is he? Okay, now I'm really curious, who the hell is she? Reptile top- Reptile skin, what? Even still. I don't know where this is, or who I am. I can't remember clearly. But... I recall faint memories of all this I've, and my heart aches with pain. Fatigue fills my soul. Regret weighs down my body. Anger, suffering, frustration. The, res the resentment, my hopelessness. Uh... 
the next floor. Ooh. Seems familiar. Whoa, where am I? What? I doubt that could be me, but like in the past, <laughs> but whatever. That person looks different. Yes, I rescued the goddess. Rescued the goddess? Could that person be? It is me! What the fuck? But wait, did I ever have blue hair back at, back then? I really don't remember. I don't remember if I gave my character blue hair when I first started. That's right, at some point. What? Wait, who's that? But I failed so many of them. What was the, what was the point of, an, of any of that? Who is she? I'm really curious who's that. What am I? <laughs> oh shit. Who is this? I'm so curious who is this? The Unset. I've never seen her before. Have I? I am so... I'm so curious who is- Okay, I need to write down that name so I can Google it because I'm so curious. Was she from the saga stuff? Because I still haven't done that. Ugh, damn it. Let's see, Mabinogi. Dion. I recognize most of the characters here, wait, except for that one. Cesar's heart. Melia. Melia, Melia, Melia. I don't remember. Okay, so she is from the saga. From the saga stuff, so I don't know anything about her. Maybe things could have turned out differently. If you had. Had. You you're, you hear a buzzing in your, in your head. You grab your throat, unable to breathe. You hear a faint voice. Up, oh, come on! Wake up! That voice, whose is it? Made, uh, I made you a promise to make sure no harm comes to you. Nairo, you can't give up. Make me into a liar? All alone, don't give up on yourself. That voice sounds frantic. Nairo, don't let go of yourself. You can't let the darkness take you. Don't trap your pain inside yourself. Come, walk towards the light. I'm waiting for you right here. Oh, Talvish. That voice trembles with wor with worry. You desire to give up, face away. You can't give up here. You can't be defe defeated right now. Not now. Not alone, not like this. One sudden engulf you. The power of a shield of trust. It will, its will and faith give you the strength. Yes. You feel as though someone is dragging you out of, of deep water. Suddenly, your sight's clear and you feel like yourself again. Oh my god, I can't- <laughs> I, I'm so curious. I mean, I don't know if I ever wear that type of helmet before or if that was a hair color that I picked at the beginning of the game when I first started out. You know, I think... Honestly, was it blue or white that it picked my hair color back then in the game? Damn, I can remember! Oh, but that's so, that was kind of cool, the fact that, I mean, that was- I know for a fact that was the bright hair color. I mean, not the right, right hair color, but the right hairstyle. But as for the other stuff, I do not remember. Like, the hair color or the clo the color of the clothing. Even though the color of the clothing is all random, but still. Now that I think about it, I didn't even bother to check what, I, and what were the eye colors. It would be cool though that if it actually, like... Like, if that was the, and like my, I kept my character back then. But damn. That was actually pretty cool. Nairo, Nairo, did it work? Are you okay? Talvish's anxious voice pulls you back to reality. Talvish eyes meet your uh, and Miss Jordan grabs her 
tightly with both hands. Are you alright, Nairo? You were trapped in a mineral encasement until a moment ago. What happened? You rub your head trying to clear a wall. Telvish fills you in. I was rushing after all of you when I was hit by a, pow a powerful and strange divine light. What I experienced next could only be called magic. A nightmare, my worst memory. The the one I pray right, uh, nightly to forget. I experienced it, uh, experienced it over and over. It was like being stabbed by a knife. It was painful. I almost gave in to despair, but then... You wait for Talvish to answer and transfix. I I don't know. I wanted to give, on, uh, give up on everything and let myself dr uh, drown in, in my misery. But I suddenly remember someone's face. It gave, it gave me it gave me a glimmer of hope. Talvish pauses for a moment as if overcome. When I finally finally arrive, I arrive here, I found at the mineral trap inside where the members of our Thuan units and you, Nairo. The prayers of Elder taught us didn't work on you. I tried I really I tried really hard to get you out of uh, out of that trap, Nairo. Anyway, I'm glad that you're here now, safe and sound. I heard your voice. Talvis looks uh, astounded by your words. You heard my voice? You mean when you were trapping your nightmare? Yes. Talvis's eyes grow wide. I see. Well, if my if my voice helped you escape, uh, escape the night the nightmare, Nairo. Elder seems to want to communicate with you. As you not confirm it and confirm it. Confirmation. You feel the elders' words hilts and uh, hilts vibrate. Is that a signal from the elder? I wonder what it, and what he wants and uh, wants to discuss. I'll take care of the other uh, Thuan Jun at Nairo. You try to communicate with the elder. Okay. Talvir swiftly moves towards the others. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, got another. Fortune fee? Let's see, I got one, two, three. Oh, I can do another fortune thing. Let's see what I get. Better be something good. Okay. What is my fortune? Your luck isn't that greatest, but. Is the worst either maybe normal is good thing? Conjure her blessings. Okay, let's open the fortune bag. What did I get? Wouldn't put, oh, come on, really? The, only that? I don't want a fucking potion. Eh, whatever. Inspect the great and uh, the great sword hilt. That was such a waste. <laughs> I didn't want that that stupid potion. Okay, the time you feel blah blah blah, your finger grows numb, as if a part of your body has emerged with someone else. Okay, the connection is made, but it seems somehow fainter than before. Ah, oh, Nairo, I hope you're you're well. It appears. Hmm? Do you feel? You tell him the connection fe uh, feels faint. I see, so it's not just my end. Then that must mean that, that our connection, that it, that this method of communication is reaching its limit. I thought it was just my imagination, it's hard to reach you than before. It feels as the barrier between us has grown. The older next words are soft and stuff, speaking to himself. I don't have much time left anyway, so it may not matter that much. After a short silence, the elder is soon speaking. His voice is uh, tangled with worry. I tried reaching you earlier, but you fell. You fell at the drift. Now that I think about it, you felt like you were caught in one of Avalon's trap. Are you okay? More or less. You hear the elder sigh. I'm relieved and you're in one piece. But for the trap to activate on you and the other knights, how strange. The trap is I'm setting and uh, setting are supposed to be for. Well. Well, if, if even the Sylvan Sylvan Dragon is attacking, attacking, uh, attacking ally, 
It should be surprised that the traps are malfunctioning as well. Anyway, the person who saved you from that trap was one of the captains, right? Is that him over there? Over here? You're not looking at Talrish. I see. Our connection may be faint, but I can still send tremendous divine light coming from him. Suddenly, all your senses feel like they're shut down. It's unlike anything you ever experienced. Wait, what's happening? What? The elder's voice cut out, made sentence. Your connection with the elder has been severe. Sure, severe, whatever. Okay, that's the end for this part of the quest. Okay. Talk to and um, free the Arthur Juniors from the trap itself. Ruin of what? Uh, why need to talk to Talvish? This is not a good time for common drinks. I'm the members of Arthur Juniors. Okay. Uh. Let's go ahead and save Adlam. Adlam is trapped inside the mineral. Place your hand on the mound and focus. You may be able to, you may be able to free him. Enter mission. I hope it zooms out because I don't want that damn thing. To hit. Fuck. Okay. You focus on that look. Suddenly, the area su uh, surrounding you transform. Is this Avalon Gate? Over there, is that, is that Atlum? Where is this Avalon Gate? How did I get here? I could have sworn I was in Avalon. Ugh, my head hurts. Hey, where's everyone? Why am I here alone? Oh, he's gonna be reliving his nightmare. This feels really familiar. It reminds me from um, of when my divine light first manifested itself. Oh no, this could this could uh, this could be bad. Someone's gonna is going to get hurt. I can't let this happen again. And conversation. Okay. Wait for me, Adlum! Don't leave me behind! Oh, fuck. I can barely see him. Damn it, if only I could move faster. How the hell is Adlum? How the hell could Adlum move that fast? That's my question. At least he stopped moving. Uh, what happened? Oh, okay. Oh. Adam, you must stay calm. Ugh, uh, master, I can't control my powers. <laughs> master, that's me from, um, from the past. Master, I can't. I can't breathe. This power is, is too much. Breathe that, them. Do not give up. Focus. Harness that energy. Uh, I can't do the. I can't do it. Power is is flowing out of out from inside me. I couldn't control it. What what should I do? Trust me, Adlam. Keep control. Don't give in. You hear Adlam's master whispering. His divine light is so much stronger than I than anticipated, especially for for his first time. Too much power is flowing out unchecked. If this continues then at this pace, not only will the divine light flow out, but his light of energy will as well. No, this will not happen. I won't let that happen. Master, no! 
As them holds out and holds on, I'll take care of this. Just focus on controlling your powers. Okay, this is really painful, Master. Ugh. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold on. I'll find a way. Hold on ju for just a few, uh, just a little longer. Do you understand, Atlum? Yes. Okay, Master. Ugh. Ugh. Please hurry. No, you fool! You're going to. Perhaps I, I could push on, push on that divine line, the divi divine lights forcing and to close. Master, no, stop! Just, just, just move away from him, right now. This power has that has manifested may be stronger than mine, but it's still wild and unaffected, unfettered, fe whatever. If I mind it, it will. It will. <laughs> stop! Please, please, just go somewhere safe. I, I beg you. Master, please help me. So much pain, I don't think I can hold on. My blood, my insides are on fire. Ah! Shut up, shut up, you idiot, you fool. Stop it. Shut up or else. I believe in you, Atlum. You'll be okay. <laughs> Just give me a few more minutes. A moment, I mean. I don't bear Master, you're using magic binding. What? This is taking a strain, but it's working just a little more. Master, stop! You have to stop. You idiot! If you idiot, you didn't whine like like a baby. If you could have controlled your own power, none of this would have happened. Stop it right now! Don't let it happen. Ugh. Ugh. A huge burst of power uh, finally pushes the master back. Ugh! Evelyn, don't give up. Hold on. Hold on for just a little, a little more. No, master, please stop it. Just please. Ugh, I can't. I let master just push to off the edge. No, master. Look, master, master, this, this can't be happening. Please. No, no, it can be. You, because of you, because of you couldn't control your stupid powers. Oh shit. Ugh. M master. Master. Eh, uh, fuck. Okay. This shield. Nairo? I just saw. You saw it too, didn't you? You saw everything? Hey, can you even look at me right now? Didn't you see what I did? If if it weren't for you, for me, if Master didn't have have me for a student, if it weren't so stupid, so stupid and weak, if I had tried harder, maybe Master would have, will still be okay. Master because of me, and I let it happen again, didn't I? I don't seem to think that all this, that all of this is real. This is an illusion, Adam. You explain that none of this is real, and. That he needs to try to wake up. This is an illusion, but but this is this is really happening. I could if I could save the master. Even now, here is in this place, he might have changed uh, changed something. It's all my fault, you see. All of this happened because I was too weak. If I had some, if I'd have been stronger, now I should have died that day. So foolish, so full of dreams. I don't. I didn't deserve. Living as a knight traveling around with the others, all after I caused so much pain. After what I done, Nairo, I don't think I deserve it. I deserve to live. I think maybe, maybe fate and for me to die here. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of feel like I should slap him, but I don't want to. Let's hug him. You embrace Adam tre and trembling body. You feel as his muscle tense up under his cold armor. Night rope. You hold on tightly despite Adam's embarrassment. Night rope, please don't. I, I don't, Night rope. Don't deserve to be treated like this. It was not your fault. The words are stern, but Adam only shrugs. Night rope, you, you say that too. Everyone tells me that it was an accident, but... If I weren't so weak back then, 
if I hadn't been more mature. If I could have saved Master just now. No, there's still a way to atone for everything. If, if I killed that boy over there, if I didn't exist in the first place, if I stopped living and dreamed that, that I don't deserve it. You tell Adam not to give in. The illusion is, manu is manipulating him. The illusion? What I just saw Master was. Give Adam a res uh, reassuring look. Joel, Adam's gaze silently reassure him. Adam dries his eyes, starting to look hopeful. Nairo, Nairo, I saw you there, protecting me. No, <laughs> Nairo, it was your shield, wasn't it? I was such a fool, a total idiot, but I didn't know you were <laughs> you then, back then, Nairo. Right? Nairo, Nairo, you're real, aren't you? You nod encouragingly. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, Adlan's face uh, scrunched up and he releases more tears than you thought humanly possible. Why? Why are you so kind? I don't trust myself. I have I haven't since that day. Not about you. I know you. Can, I know I can trust you, Nairo. I believed you. Adlan finally looks you in the eye, and <laughs> with conviction, he glances towards his younger self. Who's hug who was hugging himself and trembling. Alan gets his towards in the edge of the moment, then nods, and the world begins to crack. Oh boy. I wonder, do I have to do this for both Lewin and Avalon? Okay, so I'm reading this guide here, and it says that I'm supposed to talk to Adam and Avalon, but then at the end I should talk to to Lewin. Uh, let's see here. Do I do I have to talk to him again or something? Okay, so the next one should be Avalon. Evelyn is trapped inside the mineral. Place your hands in the blah blah blah. Enter mission. Ugh. I have a feeling that the last mission is to free Lewin. Probably, I don't know. Okay. Okay, now we're in Evelyn's nightmare, I guess. Is this Tara? Uh, over there, I see Evelyn. Wait, is this Tara? Why am I here? And I know this place. Evelyn is gone. I should probably fall. If I if only I could, if only I could. Damn it! But fuck's sake, the lag. And the whole thing, the whole place hasn't like loaded yet. So I can't even tell where I'm supposed to be going. I think I lost sight of her. Oh, there she is. But where the hell did she go next? Uh, where the hell did she go? Damn, I don't know where freaking. Okay, this time is fully loaded. Okay, at least I'm not lagging and, and everything and finished loading up, so we'll be okay. Wait, she's at Tara, right? For a moment I was thinking this was Belvis, but Belvis is different. Fuck. Okay, there you go. Have, wait, she has a brother? Evelyn's brother. This is where Evelyn wanted to meet, right? It's been forever since I managed to get uh, to get time off from from missions. Wait, where is she? I don't see her exactly. Oh well, I can't wait to see her. 
I bet she's going to pry into into why I'm so busy again and snoop around to find out what's um, what I'm up to. <laughs> but I can't tell her that I'm working for a secret group of knights serving not tons the many. But plus, she has all the divine the divine light inside her. Yeah, I can't let I can't let her find out. <laughs> the life of night is one of, um, fraught with danger. I want I want my big sis to live normal, a normal safe life. Oh wait, that's his little brother, her little brother. I won't tell her. At least not not for now. Let's see. I didn't forget to bring her a present, did I? It's nothing fancy, but I, it looks like it looks nice in her hair. I hope she likes it. <laughs> oh, I know who that is. I saw the wings, and she's that prophet. Hello there, handsome. You wouldn't happen to be Marium, would you? What? Uh, who are you? A pretty pink haired girl sent me sent me tell you that she'd be late. She told me she can't find you later. A pretty haired girl? Oh my sister! How disappointing. I really wanted to see her. Thank for for delivering the message. Does its Evelyn brother turn and uh, turns to go? Ah Silly boy, foolishness <laughs> must run in, in your blood. To trust a perfect stranger so quickly, I don't think you uh, and you be extra careful, seeing as you're that you have a secret. You wouldn't want your family to find out, would you? Poor little sweet him, Myron. Uh, uh, who are you? Let me give you a clue. I'm not friend and to any member of our elf, no matter how handsome and two knights really are. Such a deep, aren't you? So easy to catch alone. You're. Prophet, how, uh, how did you? Oh dear me! Whatever should I do? Your sister will be here any moment, and she'll discover that her dear brother has a, has left her forever. What a tragedy! Woman transform into Brillum. Uh, a succubus! Don't you dare touch my sister! So she killed her brother. Who me? Tisk tisk. Didn't your sister teach you how to ask nicely? I expected more manners from a knight. Ugh, Evelyn! Don't you worry, your sweet little head. I won't touch your precious sister, at least not yet. Oh, what's this? This was your your present for her, wasn't it? I was going to uh, I want to give you give a present to Sweet Evelyn too, but there's no sto uh, source around here, and you'll be in no shape to give her anything. By that time she gets here, so I guess it's settled. I want to be close to dear Evelyn, very very close. So I'll just leave this gift he uh, and give here where she'll find it, and we have a little magic, so I'll always I'll always know where she is. No, don't you dare. Eek, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. You scared me. It's too late. Everything's ready. I have so much to learn from Avalon. The location of the sec uh, their secret base, the identity, the identity of, of so many beautiful knights. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> tingled just thinking about it. I'll peek into her into her world, and she won't suspect a thing. Evelyn will never, she <laughs> and she will never be and put herself in danger like that. She isn't going to join the knights. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll just wait and see it won't happen, won't we? But you'll be watching from the from the beyond, my dear. Evelyn arrives. Mario, no, this can't be. No. Ah, uh, Evelyn, there you are. You're late, you know. Look at your poor brother, still eager to give you his present. Brillum, what is this? How could you do this? Oh, don't don't act so shocked. The Albine Knights are are my enemy. Enemies are meant to be destroyed, right? Brillum, I don't care if this is, is this an illusion. I'll make you pay. Hmm. Does this look like an illusion to you? You walk right into my little trap, Evelyn. You and you want to believe it, or, and it's all it's all a lie, don't you? 
your brother's final gift. I'm so glad you keep it with you all the time. Your brother will be will be touched to know that too. Except, oops, he's gone. <laughs> Do you know how easy it's been to track you every move? Thanks to that gift. That's right, dear. Let's, let, let it sink in. The, f <laughs> the full magnitude of what you've done. Magic is weaving to this? Our enemy were able to track us because of me? Magic, uh, magic, who cares? It's a gift from your brother. Who would have wanted, uh, who would want you to, to keep it? And then again, his final wish for was for you not to join the knights, and we all know how that turned out. Oh dear, Marion, they want me to join? I, I don't, I didn't know. I had no idea. And all this time, the prophet, the prophet has been able to track us because of me. Evelyn lifted and lifted a shaking hand to her hair. Oh, then she cut her hair. Oh no. Or is she trying to cut her neck? I don't know. In one swift motion, Evelyn pulls out a, a dagger and cuts off her hair. Her hairband releases a major power as it cuts well. Wait, what? Everything I've done has been has been pointless. From the start, everything was my fault. My rooms died because I I was late. I should have joined the I should have joined the knights. I should have let any of this happen. Oh boy. The divine light surrounds Avalon as a giant sword uh, materializes. What is she doing? You had to stop her. Oh no, Alan's trying to use smite. Oh, night row. Didn't you see? Every, every choice I have made, it, it was, I was so blind, so foolish. You did not. You did not do anything wrong. How can you say that? I only joined the night to get revenge, but that was brilliant plan all along. I plan on. I, I played it uh, straight into her hands. All of this is my fault. I can trust my own decision after learning the truth. Give Avalon a reassuring look. Evelyn turns her head, slowly taking in the shields that you uh, surrounds you both. She looks certain, but eventually, every, eventually her expression grows calmer. After a while, Evelyn finally meets your eyes. You're right. This is no time to wallow. Myron died a long ago. I can't fix it. I can fix it on, on something that may or may not even be true. More than anything, this, this shield of, uh, of trust. Evelyn pauses, looking com confident and, and at peace. She nods and her usual look returns to her eyes. The world around you crumble. I was hoping to hug her. Just like I did with Alan, but I guess not. Okay. Definitely been a long ass video. <clears throat> Damn. Wait, he's free? Since when the Lewin managed to free himself? Wait, is Evelyn, does Evelyn still have her ponytail? Uh, I don't know. Okay, we gotta talk to Lewin. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Well, that was quite, and quite unpleasant. Almost even. I almost even. So Lewin is free now too. When, what do you see? Lewin looks quite grumpy as you ask about his experience in, his, in the trap. To be honest, I'm not quite sure. 
I'd rather unsavory nightmares, although it was a bit too real to have, <laughs> to have been just an illusion. Lewin takes a deep breath and looks around, trying to calm himself. I was trapped up for a bit, but Talvish helped me break free. I think the Sinzala family artifact helped a bit. I was, a, I was able to see through the illusion quickly. Did the others experience nightmare as well? They did. Uh, you briefly fill him in. I see. Uh, binding, smiting, and warding. warding. All in the, uh, all this incident of manifestation, their divine abilities. It was the most imp uh, impactful event of their lives. I'm sure, and they lived through and warped and distorted ver versions of them again. It felt so real enough to make sh uh, make you wonder if if that was the truth all along. Like I said, unpleasant. I'm glad you and Talvich were around, Nairo. I doubt anyone would have been trapped forever, but experience that they kind of despair too long takes all and takes a toll. Let's regroup once everyone had a chance to calm down. And that's the end of this quest. Holy shit! This recording has been like, oh, like 45 minutes. Damn. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record some more. But I still don't know what I'm gonna be calling the the other parts of the video. So by tomorrow, I'll probably know what to do. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.